Hi. Good morning. Say good morning. Good morning. Uh, I figured I'd kind of do like a day in the life, week in the life kind of video. Um, mainly this is stuff that I do every single day. And um, so I figured I'd just like show you, you know, cause not a lot to vlog out here. It's basically the same thing every single day. Uh, welcome to mom life and living in an RV. I uh, hope you enjoy and um, let me know if there's any questions or anything throughout the video that you have. And uh, yeah, let's get the day started. Obviously we start by making waking up early in the morning. Uh, and the bed is still a mess, so I need to make make the bed. Uh, but usually we're up and at them before the sun comes up. So usually it's between five and six in the morning. Uh, to Corey's waking up. I or make waking up and getting our day started. So there's not much to really record in the morning when we're first getting up. Uh, I always find it interesting, those people that have the video of them setting up the camera, acting like they're getting out of bed. Yeah, you're not going to find me doing that. <laughs> We're getting out of the bed at 6 o'clock in the morning. And uh, to be transparent, a lot of times I still have on clothes from the night before. Um, yeah. And... Sometimes, sometimes I change into pajamas, but a lot of times because I am such a, like a little hipster, I have clothes that I was already wearing the day before, just being transparent. Anyways, after we feed him, um, when the sun hasn't even come up, I usually let him play in his bouncy seat and sometimes he wants to roll around on the floor. I will typically get dishes done uh, and things like that. Typically, I like to have some me time. Generally, that consists of meditation and journaling early in the morning. So typically, right about now, Takori's getting tired and ready for a nap. It's usually around like 10 in the morning. And so I'm able to put him down and then continue doing stuff around the house that I need to get done or have a uh, time to work on the business. So usually after I lay him down, I go back into the bunkhouse. This is where our girls, older girls usually sleep. And I'm able to sit down and do work. Right now I'm studying Montessori, but sometimes it's working on our private practice business. So we get Kroger's delivery. Um, to the RV it's just more convenient and cost-effective so usually I have this wagon in my truck I kind of store everything inside of my truck there's not much storage you can see our vehicles right there so they're right outside of the gate So I have a washer that I goes into the shower and we typically just do his dirty diapers 
Uh, I cloth diaper for a long time and is typically about every two days I have to run a load. So that's this footage. And you put it over into the spin cycle and then it spins it really good. And then typically I will put it into this bag and take it outside where I have a clothesline and I hang up all of our clothes out there onto the clothesline. Typically the diapers are dry by the end of the day. Sometimes I'm not able to get around to them until the following day. But typically like this is the next day and I will fold them. And then to Corey has his own closet and his closet's actually in our bathroom. So I will pile it all inside um, his closet for easy access. Where's to Cory? <gasps> Peekaboo! <laughs> Hi, honey. Where's to Cory? <gasps> Hi. Hi, sweet boy. How is your nap? Can we change that diaper? Uh, oh. What was that? The air conditioned? <gasps> the air conditioned kicked on. Alright, let's change your diaper. Alright, it's time to put dishes away and start prepping for dinner. And typically what I'll do is I always prepare a little extra and before I put any ingredients uh, as far as like seasoning and stuff like that I will boil to quarry some and then puree it for him and typically there's quite a bit that's left over so what I'll end up doing is just storing it the extra in the refrigerator for the following day So we did baby sign with him. This is eat, eat, but he actually picked up eat, eat, the word without having to do the sign. He currently does more. He does thank you and all done, which is also what I show in the video. All done. Usually about an hour, hour and a half after he eats, he is ready for bed. So sometimes I put him in the bathtub, but most nights, I just rub him down with lotion and get him ready with his pajamas. We have a bedtime book that we've been reading since he was little and he still reads and we read to him every single night he's obsessed with. 